Yo, what's up guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'll be going through a detailed guide on how to optimize your Fortnite game user settings for the new Chapter 7 Season 1 of Fortnite. This is so you can get the highest amount of FPS and lowest amount of input delay. So without wasting any more time, let's dive in straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is hold Windows plus R, this is to open the run. Then what you want to write is persistent sign, local app data and a persistent sign at the end. Then once you write this, just press OK and it should open the local folder within app data. Now, what you want to do is look for Fortnite game, which should be over here. It should be right below Epic Games Launcher, and then open it up. Now open Saved, Config, and Windows Client. And once we have located the game user settings, then just right click and click on Properties, and make sure Read Only is set to False, if it's okay. Okay, so now what I want you to do is double click so you can open game user settings. Okay, so now what I want you to do, look for Beach or Grass, and then say to False, as this disables grass from being rendered. And then disable motion blur as it disables blur calculations. Now, once you've done that, hold Ctrl F. This is to open the find section so you can find whatever setting you want to find. And what I want you to write is basically mouse, and click enter, and you're gonna see the option called B disable mouse acceleration. Now, what I want you to do is say to false. So before we carry on with the rest of the game just settings I recommend doing, I want to introduce you guys to external utility, which is basically a tool that basically boosts your FPS. I just input it for free. We also do have pro version, as you can see here, but then the free version is also very, very good, so I do recommend using it. Now let's continue with the rest. Then search the VSync touch down, and then we use VSync to say to false. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna see resolution settings. So for these settings and these settings over here, I recommend setting it to whatever you want. So if you usually use native res, just say to native res. If you stretch res, you say to stretch res. And then yeah. Now for for preferred full screen mode, this highly depends on you. If you say to one, this will just enable Windows full screen, which is what I use, and this is because I like to all tab. However, if you want the lowest amount of input delay, I recommend saying to zero, which basically enables full screen. So this highly depends on what you want to use, but since I use Windows full screen, I'll just say to one. Now for frame rate limit, I recommend setting it to your monitor's refresh rate. So if you got 240 Hz monitor, you set it to 40. If you got 270, you set it to 270, whatever. So I got 275 Hz monitor, but I'll set it to 240. And then once you do that, scroll all the way down until you see scalability groups. Now what I want you to do now is resolution quality, you set it to 100. And for view distance, this highly depends on what you want. I say to 2 because the difference between 0 and 2 is massive, as in visibility, but then performance wise, it doesn't really matter. However, these do really matter, so I do recommend setting all of this to 0. And I highly recommend setting view distance quality from 1 to 3. Highly depends on you though. But once you've done that, scroll all the way down until you see mesh quality. And now what I want you to do is say to 0, as this prevents your game from being detailed. So you can save a little bit of more fps for your game and then what i want you to do now is search for latency what you that search for latency and you just see b latency tick one and b latency tick two so i want you to set this to false latency tick one and set latency tick two to number one and then once you do that you can click power and save and open up back your windows client folder and then what i want you to do is right click click on properties click on read only and let it click apply and then press ok so now once you have done all the settings just make sure you restart fortnite and then you should be good to go if you really like this video and it did help you out make sure you like and subscribe and also join my discord which is linked down in the description but then yeah thank you guys for watching the video and see you in the next one